On the count of three, everyone please join together in saying Happy Holidays. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Holidays. Hello! We're here at California Adventure. We're going to try a bunch of foods for the Festival of Holiday Food Festival. We weren't able to find a really good list online of all the different things that the different carts have, so I don't have anything in particular that I want to try. I know you want to try the... Beef. I want to try the Beef Wellington. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. And there's a really cool um, Disney Mickey-shaped um, glazed gingerbread cookie, too. That looks good to me. So. And I'm just going to wing it. Yeah. So let's go in and have some food and have some fun. As soon as you walk into that main walkway that takes you past all the food booths and you see this festival of holiday signs, just turn to the right and you'll see a little booth with pamphlets and about all the food here. And just beyond that is where you buy your sip and saver passes. So if you have a magic key, Pick up your sip and saver passes so you save some money. So we just got our first items from the Holiday Duet booth. It's booth number one if you go in order. We got the braised pork belly adobo with garlic fried rice. And I am a big fan of the garlic fried rice. I like it every year. And we tried for the first time the shrimp and grits with andouille sausage. We aren't big shrimp people, and we aren't big grits people, but it seemed uh, worth trying. So we're gonna see what we think. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my pork belly uh, adobo on rice. It looks delicious. Oh man, it is nice and soft. Oh wow, look at that, it just falls apart. Try this here. Oh, that's so good. Mm. The garlic and um, the spice they have on there, the adobo, and um, the pork belly tastes so good together. And that pork belly is super soft. It's like falls apart. This is so good. If you like savory and you eat pork, get this. It's amazing. I'm gonna let Monica try the shrimp and grits. I'm not a big shrimp guy, but I think Monica likes seafood a little bit better than I do. What is that, babe, that you're moving around? The andouille sausage. Oh, the andouille sausage, yeah. So I get a bite of everything for you guys. Give it a shot. It's really good. The Cajun flavor is a little light, but it's there, which is good. And the grits are nice and buttery. It's a really good dish. This is from the Twist on Tradition booth. And we have a reimagined beef brisket Wellington. And it's really interesting, the greens on top, those are actually microgreens. So they're like baby lettuce, like it's not herbs. It's actually just small little salad greens. And then we have a churro toffee cold brew, which looks delicious. And I'm technically not allowed per Matt to have caffeine this late in the day, but I'm gonna do it anyway. What? It becomes like a little hamster in a hamster wheel. I will be a caffeinated squirrel the rest of the night. Yes. Because this is delicious. It's so smooth and the coffee flavor is really good. And it's just the right amount of sweetness. This, for sure, is amazing. So, this has an onion sauce on it, which I'm really interested to try. And traditional beef Wellington has mushrooms. And I noticed there's a little mushroom here, too. Actually, traditional has pate. Reimagined has mushrooms because us Americans don't care to like pate, but that's a side story.
That was a very large bite. Mm-hmm. I had to get it all. Okay, it's really good. Um, the pastry is harder than it should be, but it's probably been sitting in a warmer for a while, so I guess we'll give them that. The meat is, um, it's good, but it's got, um, it was braised a bit, so the, the texture to me feels a little off, but the flavor profile is really good. I really like the gravy on it, and I really like the onion sauce. What do you mean? Do you like it? Oh, yes, I like it. <laughs> That's Sorry. the main question. Was I, was I yeah. too, yeah. too judgy, yeah. McJudgy? Um, yes, you no, were. <laughs> it does taste very good, and actually, I'm really curious about the baby lettuce. Baby lettuce is really good. Um, it actually reminds me of broccoli sprouts. You know, broccoli, the whole plant is edible. And so you get little pieces like that. But I like the baby lettuce, like it all, flavors are right on point. It's delicious. I really like the Holiday Lodge line of merchandise that they have out this Christmas. I just noticed the shirt and I just think it's really cute. It's Walt's Holiday Lodge. That's pretty cool. There's some new ears too. Very Christmassy. And they're $39.99, not the normal $29.99. So we just got another round of food items. We decided to get all sweet this time. We have a cinnamon and sugar tart, a hot chocolate macaron, and then me and Monica both got our own maple hazelnut buttered rum. We were just gonna get one and share it, but Monica didn't trust me to leave her any, so she got her own. I don't know if I appreciate that or not. I absolutely have not tried the drink. <laughs> Let's see. The flavors are really, really good together. I love the salted caramel whipped cream. The whipped cream is pretty thick and it cuts the kind of um, thinness of the rum. It's really a good combination. I like it a lot. It's nice and warm. It's a good cocktail. It's very Christmassy. You get the cloves, you get the nutmeg. It's a really fun, complex cocktail. On the menu and description, this is called a tart, but it looks like a hand pie to me. Doesn't it look like a Pop-Tart? It's got pie crust on both sides. Let's see what we think. I intentionally took a big bite because I wanted to make sure to get filling. Um, it is a lot of tart crust. It's, you know, it's good because the crust with the filling on it, when you get to that part of it, the corner wasn't so great without any filling, but the tart crust and the filling go really, really well together. And this is a really delicious little dessert. And it's not too sweet, which I love. So I am going to try the hot chocolate macaron. We've had this one in the past, and it's always been good. And I, of the two of us, I'm the one who really likes chocolate, so I'm gonna test this. But I do wanna comment that I've been drinking the hot buttered rum, and tonight's kinda chilly. This will definitely help keep you warm, because this drink is a little bit on the strong side. It's perfect for a, a night like tonight where there's a cool breeze in the air. So let me try the macaron. It's a huge. Mmm. This is so good. I don't know. How do they get it to taste like hot chocolate? Mmm. But it tastes like a Swiss Miss hot chocolate. So good. Always one of my favorite things, and it is again this year. It's wonderful. We're at the Sonoma Terrace, which is where mostly kosher performs. And they seem to have a sandwich that's new to the Festival of Foods. We've not had it before. It's an avocado cheese steak. It's thinly sliced 
meat with jalapenos and bell peppers and onions with an avocado spread and melted jack cheese. It's served in this bag. You're seeing it for the first time as our uh, as us. Ta-da! Oh, there we go. So it's red bell peppers. Lots of melted cheese there. It smells delicious. Tastes delicious. The meat is good, the onion is good. As you can see, it's nice and greasy. Let me see, I'm gonna leave some of these red peppers for Matt. You know, Matt and I are connoisseurs of the cheesesteak. This is right up there. This is really good. And Matt's gonna love it even more because of the red bell peppers. Mac and cheese with stuffing. And you mean stuffing like as in Thanksgiving stuffing, right? Yes, like dressing. <laughs> There's like a like a garlicness to it. But they're using a really nutty cheese. I really like it. It's really, really good. Nice. And then this is a mule. I have no idea what it's called. We'll have Matt explain later. It's a hibiscus mule. I do not care for this. The ginger's very overpowering. So I'm gonna try the um, ginger mescal mule that we got. Excuse me, hibiscus mescal, and it has ginger in it also. It's really good. Monica didn't care for it, but she doesn't like that flavor of the mezcal. The mezcal is kind of earthy. It's like a cross between earthiness and tequila. It's really good. They have their own um, ginger, house-made ginger syrup they put in there, and it's thick. It's really good and sweet. If you like sweet cocktails? This is definitely sweet. Oh yeah, you like mezcal or tequila? Get this one. Great show filled with a lot of holiday music and also some cool music as well as this next tune is actually we're gonna see if you guys can guess where it's from it's actually one of our favorite attractions here at the Disneyland Resort we're gonna give you a couple of clues the first clue is gonna be the music so let's see if you guys can hear it out and then you guys can kind of kiss along where you have your this familiar tune So we are leaving DCA, we're done tasting food. Nice and, and full. Oh my God, so full. And we're gonna walk over here to Disneyland and see what Main Street looks like. And if we have time, maybe hop on the Haunted Mansion. And maybe even try to see the fireworks. Yeah, that'd be cool. So we are here at the Haunted Mansion. I'm a big fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas and I'd like to get on once or twice more before the uh, Christmas layover is gone in January.
manos, con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. right pops outside on the second floor. Does your heart hold the magic of the holidays? Is it filled with warm memories just waiting to be discovered again? Now is the time to open your heart. Believe in that magic and remember those treasured moments. They're still there, deep within you, waiting to touch you once more. So come along as the magic of the season leads the way. Even though we have eaten so much food across the way at DCA at the Holiday Food Festival, we got a little hungry and we stopped here at the uh, Tropical Hideaway, which I'm happy to say has straight walk-up service again. So we just walked up, there was no line, and we just got to order food without having to mobile order it. And Monica got pork, what are these babe, pork lumpia? Lumpia. Lumpia. And peanut butter and jelly mochi. Okay. You got a... That, that's my uh, chili mango um, Dole Whip. And then I also got a loco moco, or oh, there it's in there, a loco moco bao, which is a spiced um, ham bao that I like. Would you all mind if I worked on my scales? I must keep my voice in top notch shape. Hmm. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> and Rosita is right next to us here, as is the uh, Jungle Cruise and the river. And I was going to say something. Oh, 
we've had the PB&J mochi before, and I don't think it was a big hit with us, right? Is that what the deal was? I think they just seemed a little bit too sweet because it tastes just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay. but it's not a sandwich, so it was a Yeah. Lot. So we're going to try it again. Yeah, so we're going to give it another shot here. So I'm going to try the Loco Moco Bao. Last time I tried this, I tried to be, uh, um, I guess, a little... Uh, fancy and use a fork and a knife and it just got everywhere so I'm just gonna go ahead and bite into it now. Don't be civilized. Yeah exactly. So let's see. Mmm. This is really good. It comes like with a dipping sauce I'm gonna break out. Mmm. I really like the spiced ham. It's really good. There's some vegetables mixed in with it. It's got really good flavor and the seasoning's good. Mm -hmm. And there's mushrooms in it too, so. I like mushrooms and vegetables and spiced ham. This is excellent. At the Pork Lumpia here at the Tropical Hideaway. We've never tried this before. It comes with this sweet chili sauce. Oh, and so you've never had this? Uh-uh. Oh, cool. Here's a joke for the skippers out there. Sorry, Rosita's stealing Rosita, your spotlight. An elephant in the boathouse. Huh? Anyone? Stuck! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's really good. Um, it's just deep fried. What's not to love about that? The inside of the wrap is really soft and moist. The filling's delicious. Is there vegetables in there too? Or no? I think so. Maybe that looks like a carrot or some okay. pork. Um, they're, they're diced so finely that it just right. has a good flavor. I feel like, actually I feel like there could be some potato in it. Mm. Um, but it's very, very good. I highly recommend them. Nice. I got this once before and I do remember that I didn't love it. But it's everything I should like. I love peanut butter and jelly. I love mochi. So I got it again because I can't believe that this isn't something that I would love. What do you think? Okay, I remember. Did anybody see that bagel ate swing by? I think it's just a little odd. The peanut butter and the inside is sort of, um, I guess it would have to be, but it seems like more of like a baking peanut butter instead of like the peanut butter you spread on a sandwich. It's not, um, it's a little bit grainier and I think maybe even less oily than it maybe would have to be to, to work with the mochi. And then the mochi is just very heavy. It's a lot of mochi there around it. So it's a, a lot to chew through. Um, I think the flavor profiles are good. I think the texture is a little weird. Um, and that is why I did not care for it last time I got it. Now <laughs> I remember. <laughs> so would you recommend people try it? Or I do. It? It's it really interesting. It's a really interesting thing. Um, you know, it, it is, it, it does have that peanut butter in the center. Jam on the outside. Mochi is always delicious. It's a sweet rice cake. Um, I do recommend that somebody try it. It's very unique and fun. So I'm gonna try the peanut butter and jelly mochi. I have never tried it before. Monica tried it last night, but I didn't um, sample it. So this is my first time. One, it's very messy. The little strawberry or raspberry jam gets all over. is chewy like mochi it's good a little raspberry sauce is good peanut butter tastes odd doesn't taste like peanut butter almost i'm sure that's i hope it's not what it is it tastes like that pb2 powder which is like a powdered peanut butter reconstituted because it has like a grainy thick texture i wouldn't get it if you come if you come you want to try it of course go ahead but if you're looking for like a recommendation, 
I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't taste like real peanut butter. It's not creamy. Eh. I'll finish it, but I won't get it again. The holidays at Disneyland are just so awesome. They can't be beat. I was kind of in a grumpy mood when I got here. Um, I, I feel like things at Disneyland um, have gotten a little bit harder, I guess. And our passes aren't as good as they were before the pandemic. And so I was a little grumpy coming, kind of thinking, you know, we can have just as much fun at Downtown Disney. But then we came in the parks and it's Christmas time and everything's decorated and the food's so delicious and we saw a fireworks show and it just, it's been really a great, great night. We're so lucky to live in this area where at three o'clock on a random, what, Tuesday, we can yeah. just come to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot you said that on the way in. Yeah, you weren't in a good mood. Um, no, it turned out to be a great day. Um, you know, having that awesome food over there at the holiday uh, food festival at DCA seeing the um, mariachi divas that's one thing that disneyland does really good they do their entertainment very well and then being able to park up over here and uh, see the um, beautiful decorations on main street and the fireworks show like monica said and i even got to go get on um, the holiday overlay of the haunted mansion one more time before it goes away uh, maybe i'll even get another one in probably more yeah, yeah and we got we ate, and we eat some more food <laughs> and we went on a few rides at fantasyland so it was a very good day it felt like we had kind of our regular pass today you know, just kind of moving around in between the parks. It has been a little bit of a challenge with the reservation system. But, you know, we, like right now we have six reservations booked in advance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. So, you know, we, we have our days coming and uh, we're just living with it. And uh, it's not as bad as, as, you know, it seems you hear from people. Uh, we've had no issues. And I will say the one thing I always have a problem with, which we didn't have today, was that mobile ordering. I hate mobile ordering from the places I like because you got a mobile order like two hours in advance. And it was so nice just to go into Tropical Hideaway and just order food and get it within a few minutes without having them over order it. So hopefully things are getting better little by little. Um, it was a wonderful day. We love to do this and share our experiences here with you guys. If you like the video, please um, subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Mm -hmm.